Hi everyone, it's Miss Stephanie. I hope you guys are having a fun weekend, a fun holiday weekend. And I'm excited to do a, a couple of short stories with you today. I wanna keep it short for the weekend so you guys can have fun with your families. So I'm going to read the stories and we're also going to have our welcome song. So first we will do our song. Everyone could get up and get ready. Come on everybody and say hello. Come on everybody and say hello. Come on everybody and say hello. No matter what the weather. Come on everybody and clap your hands. Come on everybody and clap your hands. Come on everybody and clap your hands. No matter what the weather. All right, and we're going to stomp our feet. Ready? Stand up if you're not standing up. Come on everybody and stomp your feet. Come on everybody and stomp your feet. Come on everybody and stomp your feet. No matter what the weather. Then we're going to wiggle. Ready? Come on everybody and wiggle, wiggle. Come on everybody and wiggle, wiggle. Come on everybody and wiggle, wiggle. No matter what the weather. And we're going to flap our wings. Come on everybody and flap your wings. Come on everybody and flap your wings. Come on everybody and flap your wings. No matter what the weather. Good job. Okay, everyone, in case you're tuning in for the first time, this is Miss Stephanie from Cumberland County Library. And I'm really looking forward to sharing stories with you today. So today I'm going to be reading from a story called Peeps at our pets and it is from the Baldwin Library of Historical Children's Literature. That's where I'm reading it from. And it was published in 1895 by E.P. Dutton Firm. So this story is in the public domain and I'm able to share it with you guys today. The two stories in this book, it's a collection of stories, I'm going to read the first one's called Sophie's Visit to the Farm. And then the second one's called A Pleasant Change. So I hope you guys do enjoy. And I'm going to share with you my screen and some pictures before we read the story, okay? kittens. We're going to go back to the front. Okay. Peeps at our pets. There's a little girl looking over at the animals. So we want to try counting how many bunnies there are. Let's start with this one in the corner. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bunnies. That's a lot of pet bunnies. And here we have two kittens looking in the book. And here we have more pets. We have the ducks, the chicken, peeps at our pets, and there's a doggy. Okay. And we'll go to our first story, Sophie's visit to the farm. 
It was a pleasant surprise for little Sophie when her uncle, Farmer Cranfield, came to carry her off from the smoky town to spend a few days with him on his farm. Her aunt told her she must get some roses into her cheeks and her little cousins, Tom and Susan, took her with them for nice long walks through the fields. She soon learned not to be afraid of the animals on the farm and made great friends of old Dobbin, the cart horse, and Snap, the watchdog. At dinner time, Dobbin would come and put his head in at the window for pieces of bread, while Snap would press his nose against Aunt, Cranfie Aunt Cranfield's lap and look up eagerly for a bit also. Sophie could not take the farm pets to town when she went back, but she took back with her a great love for all God's creatures. And when the winter came, she would put bits of her breakfast on the windowsill and watch while the little sooty town birds came and ate them. And here's a little poem about the farm. It says, oh, silly folk like silly towns and sailors love the sea, but I was born on the breezy downs and a farm's the place for me. Horses and cows and dogs and pigs and poultry without end. Dear living things with fur or wings and every one a friend. And that's the end of the first story. Have you ever visited the farm before? Did you like the animals that were there? Let's see. This story is called A Pleasant Change and we see three little kittens. I don't like London, meowed Tib, a black and white kitten as he sat with his brothers, Tabby and Trot, looking through the bars of a cage in Leadenhall Market. I wish we had never been born, sighed Tabby. That small old thing Jim might have left, might have let us have those white mice to play with, but he is not a cat and does not know how we should love them, growled Trot, swelling his tail out. Just then a good humored old gentleman stopped out, stopped opposite the cage, nodded to the kittens and said, they will do. Tib was just wondering what he thought they would do. When Jim caught them up, popped them in a basket and they were soon being so swung and jolted about that they felt quite seasick. After what seemed a year in the dark, they heard the old gentleman say, in a cheery voice. There, Bobby, look at the three playfellows I have brought you. The lid of the basket was raised and they tumbled out onto a nice soft rug while Bobby was clapping his hands with glee. Never say you wish you weren't born, my brothers, purred Trot, as they nestled down that night in the nicely lined basket before the fire. Bobby asked nurse to give them each a smart bit of ribbon for a collar and used to invite them to have breakfast with him. And in return for Bobby's treating them kindly and loving them, the little kittens tried to tell him never to be downhearted, never to be sad. When in trouble, for like them, he might unexpectedly have a pleasant change. So there's little Bobby and he's eating and there's the three kittens sitting right by his side, probably wanting something to eat, but they are very happy that now that they have a home. And that is the end of our story. So I hope you guys enjoyed these short stories today. I wanted to do a shorter video for today for this weekend but I hope you're enjoying everything that we are doing and continue to share with us any ideas that you have. You can comment below on this post and I'm 
hoping and I, and I can't wait to hear um, you guys, your comments and just reaching out to me. Thank you so much for doing that. And I'll continue to reach out to you. I hope you guys have a safe weekend and we are going to be continuing this week on Monday, July 6th with having our curbside pickup. So we will still not be open yet to the public, but we will be having our curbside pickup Monday through Thursday. 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, so I hope you guys have a great weekend. Stay safe and take care. Love you guys. Bye.